All right, guys, we're out here on the river. We're actually fishing a new area on the coast that we've never fished before. Um, we got one generator of current today. Uh, we're gonna be going after pretty much whatever bites. More likely we'll catch flatheads than uh, blues. Um, I just cut up my first bait. I got a big bluegill right there. You can see that I've cut up. Got it on my big rod. Absolutely huge bluegill head so we're gonna be throwing some baits out there i guess i can actually oh i gotta put my weight on i'm using the chest cam this time so hopefully y'all be able to see what we do a little bit better and i'll be able to show myself netting any fish that dad catches So basically we're spot locked. We have a, um, our trolling motor has us on spot lock so we don't even have to drop an anchor. Um, oh, I got a backlash in here, good gracious. All right, we're gonna chunk our first bait on out there. You got a fin on the back of your leg. A fin? <laughs> oh, great. There's a dead channel cat in the water right there floating down. Dead channel cat? <laughs> yeah, it's floating down the water right there. Probably came through the generator. All right, that's our first bait down. Get it situated in the rod holder. Some of that good bait you caught yesterday. Oh yeah. In Alabama, you have to catch um, you have to catch brim on the um, on a hook and line. You can't catch it in a um, in a cast oh, net. Oh, 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 you got one, Dad. Oh, yep. God. Yep. What I don't know this? what you have. I don't know, but I just got that whole takedown on the GoPro. What is this? I have no idea. We just got, I haven't even got but one bait down. Oh my gosh, it feels huge. All right, dad's hooked up. And it is, it is just, <laughs> oh, wow. are you kidding me? Hey, I, I, I suspended. I got it on, uh, I got it on film too. We just got out here. I mean, I have one bait in the water and dad's already hooked up with a really good fish, it looks like. You think it's a blue or a I flathead, a striper? It could be anything, guys, so we have no idea. I don't think it's a striper because it's kind sure of hanging straight down. Oh yeah, I'm recording. I think it might be a- Flathead? Flathead. He just took it like that? Yeah, I just suspended. Oh gosh, it's oh, a huge God. blue. I couldn't oh. get him, Dad. Oh, she! He just <laughs> saw, he saw the boat and he went freaking crazy. That's like, oh my gosh, that's a really nice blue, Dad. I know. Wow. Get him up here. <gasps> he just broke. Rod. He just broke Dad's rod. She broke my can freaking you, rod. Can you get him? Are uh, you kidding me? Are you serious? It's probably. Hopefully, it doesn't slap that snap the line. He just broke dad's freaking rod. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're gonna have to just try to get. What a, what a video this is gonna be. <laughs> dad is fighting with a snapped rod right now. Oh my gosh. He's got like, I don't even know. I... Ooh, got him. Oh. <laughs> I can't even lift him, he's so big. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> dad just got a tub, a blue cat. Look at that, it's a, it's a Shakespeare ugly stick, GX2. <laughs> uh, ugly just... stick, ugly stick if you're watching this. 
Are we, you uh, kidding me? You saw it. I didn't break it on. <laughs> no, on you a broke it. You br he, he snapped your dang rod. It. That is a pig. Oh my gosh. That's like a 35 maybe. 30, 30. I don't know, but I brought I got it in on a broken rod. Wow. <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll have to buy me a new rod now. <laughs> there you go. Wow. <laughs> that is Are you kidding me? Whew. Oh, that's a whopper in it. Yeah, it is. If you can grab him out, I'll get this net out of the way. Oh my goodness, I don't think he was coming off. Thirty pounds. <laughs> Did you did you get that? I got that. Oh shit. <laughs> Can't cuss on the video, Dad. Oh, sorry. Holy shoot. Here, pick him up one time and then I'll get your phone to take some pictures. Pick him up sideways, yeah. Oh yeah. That's a toad to start the day. Broke his dang rod. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, right here, Dad. Alrighty guys, here you step step up here because the the sun's back there. It's a big one. Oh yeah, dad. That's a whopper. That's a really good one. Heck yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what happened there, dad? <laughs> yeah. Thirty pound catfish. What happened on this little bitty? That's what I call my ultralight. Yeah. A little lacuna so, reel. Medium heavy, Akuma ugly reel. stick. Yeah. With me, medium heavily heavy uh, Jex two ugly stick. Just snapped that bad boy in half. <laughs> well, I gotta get my other baits down. I've only put one bait down since we got here. So. All right. Well, I'm just now cutting up my third bait to throw out. I haven't even gotten all my baits out there, and Dad's already had all sorts of chaos re-rigged and pack out yeah well this is a smaller bluegill so i'm just going to kind of descale him and then i'll probably cut his tail off right here i might use the scissors for that i'll probably just hook him right there uh, i'll probably cut some of these fins off too just so they don't interfere with my hook point Alrighty. Bro, when I drop straight down. Yeah. Um, yeah. It does not have a cork on it. The one I just caught him on. Really? Uh huh. Straight suspended. That should be good. And I gotta put the weight on there too. Um, somewhere over there. No, it's all up by the grass. All right, guys, that's my third bait going down right there. My chunker. Actually, I'm not gonna chunk this one out. I'm gonna drop this one. I got two chunked out, and with the current, it'll pull them all to the middle. So I'm just gonna kind of give him a little like that. Kind of just straight down below the boat. And I'll just let my weight hit the bottom and then that float will just keep it up and it'll just be dancing in the current like that. I'll just stick him in there, right there. And he, my friend, will be good to go. All right, I got three out. Dad's got three out. We've already had chaos. So we'll let you know when we get another fish. All right, Dad. Dad's hooked up with another one. There. Woo! He's got another good one. Are you kidding me? He's over here got a mouthful of popcorn. Are you kidding me? This is a big one. I see that. I see that. At least it's your big. At least it's your big one this time. 
this is a fish hunter. Oh, I see that. Watch your, uh, I'm gonna try to move this one over here to the left. Oh, he's coming right up on my phone. Yep, I see that. I think he's in this one. I'm gonna let this one out, okay? Here. Oh, shoot. I can't come over that one. I'm just gonna let it out, okay? This is a huge fish. This is a huge fish. Another blue. Another blue, yep. yep. I'm gonna try to get him so that so that other line doesn't uh try to get him closer so that other line I think you got in this my line too try to get him up because let me let out line on mine too I know try to pull him in because one might try to get that hook He's got all our lines right here. Oh. Further, 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 further. I'm trying. Yeah. Oh, God. Woo. I think we found the big blues, Hunter. Yep. Watch your popcorn. He's bit. Gosh, he's about another 30 pounder, isn't he? I think he is. I mean. It's not the same fish, is he? <laughs> I swear that's the same dang fish. Good gracious. Dad, you have another fish on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh Lord. Did he? Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, this one has every other line, but. <laughs> oh. Well. Let me get this one back out. <laughs> yeah, throw that one out. Although, I don't know if we need any more chaos. Oh gosh. Hey, I think I made a good, a good choice. <laughs> yeah. Well, alrighty then. Two thirty pounders on the Coosa don't happen every day. No, it don't. Especially no, it don't. blue cats, maybe flatheads, but. Big mouth, too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey, let me get bigger. that mouth. Yeah. This is a bigger one. Mmm. He's literally like an exact it's replica. Strong. He's got that blue line around his tail. <laughs> Is everything out of the net? He just took your glove off. <laughs> I'm glad my fingers aren't still in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We gotta weigh this booger. Where is he? I, I actually think that the first one was a uh, The first one might have been a little bit longer, Dad. This is thick. Yeah. Yeah. The first one was longer. This one might be a little fatter, though. He's thick. Yeah. He's, a, he's the exact yeah, same so size. <laughs> Two 30 pounders on the dot. That's awesome. All right, grab him by the mouth and hold him up for the People GoPro. Are gonna say, That's the same fish. Why are you thinking? Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, let me take some pictures. All right, guys. Well, we made a run a little bit further upriver towards the dam. We think these fish are working up towards the dam. Um, probably could have stayed in that last spot and caught some more. Um, Dad caught two 30-pound blue cats, so we're off to a good start. But um, we're actually on a hole right here where it curves around on the in inside part of the curve. And we're thinking that these blues are making their spawning run up river. Um, oh, there's a gar that just came up. So, all right, we're gonna get some baits out and uh, put in a little time here. Jeez. 
chunk that one on out there. We're in about 25 feet, but um, the main river through here is like 10 to 12 feet. It's real shallow, so any any change in the bottom like that is going to be holding fish for sure. I'm going to keep the same baits on because I still have some good chunks. I mean, those still look good. Waves about to make me fall in. I'll probably change this one out pretty soon. It's not the greatest bait in the world, but it'll do. And I'm just gonna kind of give it just a little chunk right there into the current. Let it hit bottom. And then this, there's a lot of stripers that run up here close to the dam. So we have this little paddle tail. And I'm just, I've just been kind of dropping it down there in the current a little bit. Just about right there. And then just sticking it in the rod holder and just letting it swim in the current and see if, I mean, we can get a bonus fish on that. That'd be pretty cool. So, all right. All right, guys. Half the battle out here is having good snacks. I got me a Bear Bells protein bar. What you snacking on over there, Dad? That Bucky's popcorn? Bucky's popcorn. That's some good stuff. Green butter. Yep. Mm -hmm. He was mad because they did away with it for a while and now they brought it back. I think he was the reason they brought it back. Exactly. He was complaining to all the workers. But, yeah, and, and Bucky's, if you're watching this, please change your eggs. Because <laughs> yeah. they are very runny and wet and gross. Everything cook them harder. Yeah, cook them harder. <laughs> Alright guys, spot number two, we got a couple bites. Um actually <laughs> let me reel into this one to make sure. There's not a fish on there. Yeah. Okay, there's not. Um so yeah, spot number two, just a couple nibbles. Um didn't really get anything substantial. So we're actually going to move up closer to the dam. I don't know how close we're going to go. Maybe just down to the tail race a little bit. But um, yeah, since we know there's blues in the area, uh, we're going to see if they've worked up to the dam. So we'll see you all in just a second. All right, we're at our third spot now by this bridge where, I don't know, probably, what, a quarter of a mile from the dam. You're showing them your Bucky's peanut butter. Oh, I know. That's why I started the video. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. I was going to tell them for the third spot, I had to break out the peanut butter Bucky's trail mix. Mm -hmm. That's some good stuff, Dad? Oh, that's good stuff right there. Oh, yeah. Is it as good as the popcorn? It's, it's, it's a rival of the popcorn because mm -hmm. it's got um, little round balls that are made of uh, peanut butter in it really good stuff and dad likes round balls i like putting balls those all right well after that quick start uh this was our third spot we didn't really get anything here um we think it's starting to get into a little bit of the heat of the day so um i don't know if you can see but the dam's up there so we're gonna head up there and try try to get some catfish in the uh, tail race up there we might even luck into a striper or bass who knows <laughs> First all right, cast. first cast, Dad threw this paddle tail out. We got our catfish rods all set up back here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but we are at the dam. Dad threw out a swim bait and first cast got nailed. Probably a striper or a hybrid. What is it? Oh, a striper. Nice. <sighs> got him. That's a pretty pretty decent one. Yeah. Probably what, a four or five pounder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Dad's killing them today. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Careful with that hook. That thing's sharp. There you go. On, oh, turn it sideways. Like drop your uh, swim bait and hold it sideways. Yeah, there you go. Got it. Got it. <laughs> nice. You're gonna have to let me throw it so I can catch my. Well, I guess I've caught one striper in my life. Yeah. Did you get hit? Look like they're big, though. Yeah. It would probably be a big one at this time of day, moving up to this cooler water. All right, well, I'm trying to throw, and I turned the reel around, so now I'm actually reeling like a normal human. So I'm going to try to get me a striper real quick. Jeez, what is our boat doing? Yeah. Surprised I haven't hooked a gar on accident. All right, we came right up here by the dam and dad's still throwing the swim bait. He's hooked into another one. He's not gonna let me catch a fish today, is he? I think it's another striper. Yeah. Oh yeah. A little bit better one. Oh, that's a hybrid. Yep. All right, is it my turn to throw? <laughs> is dad gonna let me catch one? That's a real good hybrid. About a, what? Three pounder? Yeah. Three and a half, four pounder? Oh, like that, yeah. Now, he's pretty thick. He's pro he'll probably go four pounds, I bet. Oh, yeah. Hold him up sideways so they can see the difference between a hybrid and a striper. Striper, uh, striper are a lot more skinny, but they can get way bigger. Deep, deep body fish. Yeah. The broken lines. It's a mix. Broken lines. It's a combination between a white bass and a striped bass. Nice. Got it. It's getting hit on one of my catfish, guys. Watch out, turtle. Uh-oh. Yep. Got him. Yep. You saw me set the hook on him. Let me make sure I'm filming. Woo! Oh, dad. <laughs> Feels pretty good. <sighs> Heck yeah, they're fun. I got it on. I doubt he's that big, but oh, maybe he's maybe he's decent. I mean, I've never really fought. I've had, I've caught one of these before in my life, so I can't tell if he's very large or. That's just how they fight. <laughs> I mean, he could be good though, couldn't he? Uh -huh. 
can't really move him. He's about to get in the, I think he, oh, <sighs> he's in that other line. Is that him that's doing it? Yeah. He's right here, dad. Man, they're just strong as crap, aren't they? He's not even that big. Did he come out of it? Nah, he's still in it. Yeah. Try to, we need to get that, is that the blue line? Yeah. We need to get that out as quick as possible. Finally got me a hybrid, guys. I've actually caught a couple hybrids in my life. It's more the stripers I've only caught a, caught one of. Pretty good. If you hold that, yeah. I'll get it out of the... Alright guys, got me a nice hybrid bass, man they fight hard, we've also got our catfish rods out but we were doing better with catfish further down river, yeah that was fun, he's probably about a four and a half, five pounder, probably four and a half. Yep. Alrighty. Thanks. One of his first hybrid he's ever caught. Well, this is probably like my fourth or fifth hybrid. I've only caught one striker though. Alrighty. A good deal. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, we were throwing a cast net. Let me see this guy. We caught this carp and I mean it I don't think that's a common carp, is it? That's definitely not a common carp. It's kind of like a mirror carp. I don't know. This is what I saw coming out the water back there that I thought was a small. I don't know what kind of carp this is. He's he's cool though. We're actually gonna try to fish him live for a big flathead. So we poured him up some water. That should keep him alive. Hopefully he's a little big for the bucket, but don't you think that'll keep him alive for a while? Should. Yeah. It's probably pretty hardy. Yeah. Maybe we can go back down to the river here in a second. We're going to uh, try to drag some. Yeah, we can. It's up to you. Yeah. It's your day. Did you, did you get any big shad in that one? We just went and got some shad. shad too. So Got a bunch of shad. Still got some bluegills. So. Alright. We're uh, about to drag out of this creek. Show them what we do to drag. Oh yeah. I will once I put it back in the holster. Alright guys, so we're back in this creek. And so we're actually going to be doing a tactic called dragging. We've still got the same float to keep it up off the bottom. But this time we have this long weight. Um, let me see if you can see that. We got this long weight and it's called a dragging weight. And it's shaped like this because it just pulls over structure. And we hardly ever get hung when we when we use this rig. So we just throw it out and we go about 0.3 to 0.5 miles per hour um, out of the creek. Cork, the cork keeps <coughs> the uh, hook up off the, the bottom and uh, and the dragger uh, allows the weight to go, to drag over structure. Yep, so dad's already got his baits out. and So I'm about to chunk mine on out there. And we're already moving it. I think I have us at 0.6 miles per hour currently. So we'll chunk that out. It's real shallow in here. It's only like five feet. So uh, chunk that out, stick it in the rod holder. And uh, we'll probably only fish, eh, I might put three out there, but definitely two. All right, here's my second bait going down. It's a shad, cut him open. I mean, you can see it's just like a murder scene right there. Got same dragon rig on it too. So I'm gonna try to get this one closer over to the towards the bank. All right there, let it hit the bottom and then give it a little bit of line out. Click it, put it in the rod holder. And uh, so we're just dragging on out of here. And uh, when the fish hit the these takedowns back when we're dragging in creeks like this, they're usually pretty violent. I'm about planer boards. 
Yeah, we do have planter boards, and what those do is you put the planter board on, and it'll just carry it out so you can cover more water with it. So, like, I could throw one over by the bank, and instead of coming back towards the middle, that planter board will keep it out so uh, we can cover more water. But um, we haven't had the best luck on them, so we don't use them too much, but we do have them. All right, so... We didn't have any catfish luck up at the dam. So we're back down close to where um, dad caught those two uh, big blue cats earlier. Um, we're a little bit further down river than that at a different hole. But um, we gonna give it a little time here. And um, I had a gar break off one of my lines. And uh, I gotta re-rig that. And after that, I'm gonna have a surprise bait that I'm gonna be putting down. So. I'll show y'all that in just a little bit when I get all rigged up. Alright guys, here's the surprise bait I'm putting down there. I don't know if he'll catch anything, but putting this big carp on. And I actually am going to try this rig. A double hook rig. <laughs> I had a double hook rig done. So I'm going to go from one nostril out through his other nostril like that and then up here why don't you go down a little bit further yeah i'm gonna cut his uh top fin off Woo! that top fin is hard to cut There we go. I am so sorry, buddy. But we are trying to catch a state record out here with you. Hello? Hey. Hey, called you a while ago. I know, I saw that. I walked into the other room where they're like. All right, so here's the bait, guys. I got a huge carp. Well, he ain't that huge, but he'd be huge for a catfish to eat. I got him on a double hook rig. I got one hook through his back, and I got one hook going from one nostril to the other. So if I get a takedown on this thing, it's going to have to be a huge fish. I actually cut his top fin off. I think I showed y'all that, but, yep. That's a good rig. That's a good-looking rig, ain't it, Dad? That'd get him, won't it? Or it'll get real tangled, one or the other. Either way, there will be a hook somewhere down there. Yeah. All right, well, just while we're waiting, I was gonna point out that that carp that I put on the double hook rig, uh, we were talking to my grandfather, who's a biologist, and uh, cause we, we've caught a lot of common carp and we just didn't think it looked quite like it. And um, so we, he actually told us that he thinks that it's a hybrid between a goldfish and a common carp. And based on the picture, we're pretty positive that that's what it is. So if I catch a flathead, it's like I'm basically catching it on a goldfish. So that's pretty cool. Goldfish carp. Goldfish carp. Hopefully he ends up in a, in a flathead's belly. Or a blue. If he ends up in a blue's belly, oh, it's gonna be a big blue. <laughs> that'd have to be what, like a, at least a fifty. <laughs> at least a yeah, forty-five, fifty plus. So, but hey, it's possible. We'll see.
All right, guys, I don't know how well y'all can see. Um, <laughs> we gave it heck out here, and uh, we had a lot of success earlier in the day, but longer and longer we fished. Just nothing, man. I guess the catfish, they might start, might be starting to get into the spawn right now. Just don't know, but they just were not turned on this afternoon. But, uh, you know, that's catfishing. All you can do is try. Sometimes you get two takedowns in 10 minutes with 30 pounders, and sometimes you just wait out for nothing. But, you know, I'll throw this shad down there for him, and I'm sure somebody's going to get a free meal. Just wait till you see some of the other free meals they're going to get. They're going to get a whole goldfish head here in just a second. Mm. We gave him heck, didn't we, Dad? Somebody's going to get him a big piece of carp. Anybody want to buy it last second? Come on. Come on. I know somebody wants that carp head. I reckon not. I was hoping this goldfish would have served a purpose. I mean, good gracious. Look at that head. Somebody's getting a free meal later tonight. See you, Mr. Goldfish. <laughs> 